Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how to use your Google account to create a GIF or a GIF. Now, I already have my GIF folder here, but I'm going to create a new one. So if you don't have a GIF folder yet, create one. I'm going to click New, Folder, and I'm going to call this GIFs for this class is personal finance, so I type that out. All right, when you are done, click Create, and then, this is I think the key, when you have this folder, it's already selected, click right here to get link, and make it a public or at least visible within the school that you're at, um, so that everything you put in this folder will be visible. Visible. You won't have to go through and click share for every document and mess around with the settings. It'll already be set up so that it is shareable. So go ahead, maybe pause the video, create your folder, click this button right here, right, and then make sure it's shareable, and then press play, and we'll keep going. All right, so now if I click the folder, I'm going to use Google Slides to make my GIF. Create and share because it's in a shared folder. It just wants you to know, hey, this is going to be shareable. Is that okay? Yes, it is. Perfect. So I don't know if there are any rules about the dimensions of any GIFs, but here I'm asking that we go to Page Setup under, click File, Page Setup, and go to Custom Dimensions. Make sure you click Pixels, otherwise this won't work. But if you click Pixels, put 600 by 600. You don't want that as inches that would be a very large slide. So we do 600 by 600, again, pixels, click apply, and we've got a square space to work on. And this square, again, is just useful because I wanna start collecting and tiling all of the students' work on this and put it all on a slide together. All right, now I wanna get something in the background. You can use a photo, you can use a background color, whatever works for you. If you want to use background colors that are built in, you can click right here, and you can choose images, colors, all kinds of things, right? I'm going to actually choose uh, an image, but, but to get the image, you could search online on Google or whatever, but I like this website on Splash. So I'm going to use a word that's appropriate in personal finance and see what pops up. And I use the word budget. You can use any word that you think makes sense for you. And I think I'm going to grab this photo right here. It looks really, really, it catches my eye. So I'm going to download. Okay, my photo is downloading. And dragging the photo in is much easier. Or just uploading it as a photo. Now, it's not a background. But the advantage of this is now you can just make it as large as you want. Like that. Boom, it'll click. It'll kind of snap to the edge of the page right there. I'm going to click the crop image button. And then I'm going to kind of pull it this way. I accidentally pulled the whole image there. I don't want that. Just go to the black line right here in the middle. Kind of pull it back. I usually pull it back too far. And then when I let go, you can see that the border of the page is right there. Extend it over. Now I've got a great image to work with. Okay, so we've got that. Now you want to add some font. Typically, the font that I would use is Impact, but you can use another font font if you like. So there's my Impact font. Save. So, okay, the, the I'm responding to the prompt, the question, what's the biggest lesson you've learned about money so far in your life? And that's, for me, I feel like right now it's save every penny. So now we're ready to enter our font. So I'm going to click my text box here. And this kind of GIF that we're making is a simple animation GIF of text. And there are many ways to animate the text, but I'm going to write save every penny. I'm going to choose impact font. And I'm going to make it large. Let's say 100. See how that looks. It's pretty good. Let's do 120. Perfect. You want it as large as possible because you want it to stand out. Once you've got your font, make sure you like it, how it's set up. Um, there are lots of font options here. I would play around with it until you're happy. You do want it to stand out. So I'm just going to pick a different color. How about red? There we go. Kind of matches that bow a little bit. 
And that is my final goal and my gif, right? I wanted to say save every penny. So now I'm just going to count the number of text letters. And you might do this a different way. Please, if you have a different way of animating the text through this, go for it. But I just want to show you one simple method. So I'm going to right click and duplicate my slide. I'm going to duplicate it for as many letters as I have in each uh, in, in all of my text. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 letters. So I need 14 slides. So I'm going to just duplicate it over and over again. 1, 2, and just bear with me. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and let's see if I can select several at a time. That would save me a little bit of time here. Duplicate slides. Yes, so you can you can select. All I did was click one and hit shift and then down to select, to select a couple of slides. Save me a little bit of time. And now what do I do? Well, I just kind of work backwards, really. Um, I want the letters to animate one at a time. So I'm going to take out the Y first and then the Y in the N. And then I'll go through this quickly. I'm just going up one slide at a time and deleting one more letter than I deleted before. And I always look over here to see if it's adding one letter correctly or if I missed something. That's it. Just keep going. And Now once you've, I, I seem to have a couple of extra slides here, so I'm going to check to see if I got everything. S, A, V, E, E, V, E, R, Y. Oop. So there you can see it skipped by accident. You always want to test that. Otherwise, it's just not going to work nicely. All right, so what do I need to do? I should have, it should go R and then Y and then P. So I need another slide in there. So here I'm just going to pull this back. Boom. Now it should work. I'm adding one le letter with each new slide. Great. These two slides right here, delete it out. And in fact, I should add one blank slide. So there's nothing in the beginning. All right. And then here, what I recommend is adding a couple of the last slide, because this is going to animate. I'll do five. Um, you want the message to stick at the end, right? So I've got about five, at least five, I'd say. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six of them. That's fine. And now I'm ready. So this is my, I want to call this my save, save every penny. And it's not a GIF yet. So the idea is that um, to turn this into a GIF, you'd have to save each of these slides as a picture file, and then you can turn that into a, a GIF, an animation. However, there's an easier way. So the app that we're going to use is called Tall Tweets, and I'm going to skip this part right here. Right, that's, um, that's a nice one. But here, turn your Google Slides into a GIF, presentation, and tweet. It's called the Tall Tweets Classic. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to select the presentation that I just made. And this might take a while. OK, so that took me about a full two minutes. So, um, so you know it might take a while. So GIF image width. Well, in pixels, we know it's 600. And it wants to know um, how many seconds you want to spend per slide. So let's try um, 0.2. And it might give you a preview here. It's not, it doesn't seem to be doing that right now. So I'm going to click Create GIF and see how it looks. And again, this might take a while. So that took under a minute for me. And that's the speed. This is the speed at 0.2. And do you see how it? this last couple of slides stay there? That was only six slides. You can even do 10, right? You really want it to stick. Depends how long your message is. The longer the message is, the longer you want to repeat the very last slide. So we've created a GIF. What do we do? Here's a couple options. You can save it. You can tweet it. You can change it, right? But I'm going to click Save. That's going to save, in my case, to my computer. And that's working right now. But what I'm going to do is I want to go back to my drive. And I'm going to put the GIF right in there. So this is my GIF folder. And I want to make sure that I remember what this is. So I'm going to right click it, rename it, and put save every penny. 
Okay. Now I've got a GIF. I'm just going to click on it, double click so you can see that it has worked. And there it is.